The symbol for Pisces represents two fish. The dash in the middle implies that the fish, in one way or another, are connected. In illustrations of Pisces, this is typically represented as a ribbon or cord, sometimes coming out of the mouths of the fish. What I find fascinating is that this symbol has a relationship to the cross-section of a Taurus field, which looks like this. The Taurus field contains many advanced concepts and secrets, but for today, we'll be analyzing it through this basic perspective. Energy flows from inner to outer and loops back again in a cyclical fashion. This basic shape can be found all over the natural world. As an example, trees follow this general framework. Branches fan up and outward, while the roots mirror this dynamic, only downward and underground. Due to this relationship, I'm inclined to think that the concept of a world tree is likely a reference to the magnetic field of Earth, whose trunk represents the North Pole, or Axis Mundi. The next sign after Pisces is Aries, which fits snugly within a Taurus field as well. This makes sense given the fact that Aries can represent the beginning of a cycle, the same way it ushers in a new astrological year at the spring equinox. Its symbol has the likeness of a ram or sprout, and is a depiction of the energy generated from a toroidal field. After Aries comes Taurus, which shares the namesake of the Taurus field, and for good reason. It's likely that the Bull of Heaven not only represents the Taurus constellation, but is also an explicit reference to the Taurus field of Earth. Interestingly, the Egyptians developed a relationship with a portion of the northern sky as being represented by the leg or horn of a bull. This horn was considered an opening or gateway to the afterlife, or what we might call the stairway to heaven. Mainstream science would call this horn the cusp or opening of our magnetic field, which in part is responsible for the stunning northern lights. Adding to that, the upper cusp of the Taurus field reminds me a lot of the Pisces constellation, which depicts two fish leaping from the same stream. In a way, this is another visualization of energy sprouting from the center of a toroid and returning to which it came. The two fish could also be interpreted as the dual aspect of a Taurus field. In some depictions of Pisces, the fish are spinning around each other, like energy cycling through a Taurus field or the churning of the universe. In other versions, one fish appears to be returning while the other is leaving, the same way one side of a Taurus field projects and the other receives. And as the last sign of the zodiac, I find all of this appropriate for Pisces, which represents the end of a cycle, and by extension, the beginning of one as well. As always, I'd love to know what you think.